Hi guys, it's Jenny here, and today we are back with a cover my address, a dun -dun 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 Zara haul. It's been a little while. I thought I'd treat myself with some transitional pieces. I know my Northern Hemisphere friends are going into spring and summer, but just hold up. I know there's a few chillier days, so I think some of these pieces will be quite useful, and I do think Zara thrives during the transitional months. So, this video does have a sponsored portion by Skillshare. We'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's see what we've got in this big old box. It is this lovely shirt dress. Now, Zara has done about like 10 versions of these shirt dresses this summer and I've tried a couple. If you go back to a previous Zara haul, you would have seen the kind of wellness center pillowcase one. I think it's a bit like Children of the Corn, kind of baby sacrificial lamb midsummer vibes. This one's a little bit more baby doll. It's a bit more cute. It does come in a black and I think a khaki as well. But I just thought the white was so nice and crisp for summer. But also during autumn and spring, if you pair it up with some more hardcore accessories with some like black boots or even with a leather jacket on top. And um, we always need another white dress, right? I just, I love white dresses. Sue me! Um, I got this in the medium, but it is definitely quite oversized and I wish I got it in the small as it is quite a boxy fit And I also didn't realize that the lettering on the back would be so big and in the picture as well the Color was definitely more of a white or a cream. This one's got more of like a grayish cream tone to it I just feel like it doesn't match my skin tone as nice and it does make me look a bit sickish I really like the thickness of the t-shirt. I like a crew neck that is quite thick and structured for a t-shirt but I just don't know about these huge letters at the back and I'm not sure about this greenish cream tone. We also went into a deep dive of Zara jeans. I think Zara jeans is like a whole other world. They have so many versions of the same jean. It's like ASOS having like five different pictures of the same color of the same style and five different separate listings of the same jean. But sometimes you order them, they're not all the same. So it's very, very confusing. So I thought I'd try out the mum jeans. Now these are just like the classic, classic mom fit. I sized up, I got it in the 36 euro, which is I think a size eight Australian, just because I find Zara jeans so tight that I can't even like buckle it up. So these are definitely more high-waisted. The denim is actually quite soft. I don't like it when it's so stiff that it's crunchy. Um, and it also has a zip because I detest those buttons like when are you gotta go you gotta go i don't have time to like pop the buttons open and then redo the buttons so anyway denim softness tick zip tick the length i quite like as well um i would roll it up if i was wearing boots with it just because i feel a bit um western cowgirl if i wear boots um with the jeans at the full length it does kind of balloon out slightly more but my next round, I want to try the other mum fit jeans, which is, I think, the Z195. I don't know where they got the name from, but it looks slightly slimmer around the hips, and it is a little bit shorter, I think, as well. So it's better for my more shorter stature, um, but also because I don't really have hips, it just makes it look a bit too balloony around my bum. I don't have a bum either, so it just it's just empty space. It's a bit of a hot air balloon in there. <laughs> So they've also got an extensive loungewear collection. Um, they're very well tapping into what our fashion style is these days. So I thought I'd try out a different type of jogging bottoms. I really like the kind of Topshop 90s joggers where it's like really baggy and then cuffed around the ankles. So I thought I'd go for more of like a straight leg and just wide opening at the bottom. So I picked up these gray trackies. Um, they do come with a matching hoodie set as well. Firstly, I do prefer my loungewear to be more thicker and cuddlier. These are very very thin they don't have like any fleece or anything inside them they're also ridiculously long ready i could wear this as a jumpsuit i'm putting it up to my armpits right now and it just hit my ankle the i got the smaller size and the waist is like pretty tight but my gosh, they are so long. They're a bit flimsy. I feel like they just kind of stick to your body. So it's a, it's a complete no from me. I'll just have to keep looking around for some relaxed, more flared joggers. But if you're really tall and you're blessed with long legs, I think they'd be comfortable if you're just looking for a slouchy, thin pair. But if you are looking for more of like a cuddlier, fleecier lounge set, not these. So we're going into slightly cooler territory. 
Um, I know the big vests say and we're jumping on the trend. My mum was ahead of the curve. She's been wearing these vests for like 15 years. She wears them inside her jumper in winter and on top of t-shirts in summer. It's just a good way to keep warm and as Asians we love layers. We're like Shrek, an onion with heaps of layers. Anyway, I got it in the David Jones pattern, the lovely houndstooth pattern. They're huge, these vests. I got it in a small, so it goes small, medium, large, but it is so oversized. This is the size after two tumble dries. She's really tried to shrink this one. I do love the knit material. It's very nice, soft, and smooth. Um, I like to wear it on top of more kind of straight leg pants, and I'll just tuck it in a little bit just so I just don't look like a potato sack. Um, it looks nice just even without a top underneath. I just suggest you wear like a singlet or something, but also if you wanted your collar to peep out, it's nice if you just put on a more relax shirt underneath wear it with skirts um it's got like a very cos fit to this if you know what i mean just the kind of more boxy square comfortable flowy look but yes i did see a couple other very cute vests on the website but i thought i'd go with a more classic black and white one a more oversized one just so i can layer it and be comfortable in it in winter and i can also wear it at home and just a quick little word from our sponsor skillshare it is an online learning community and there are hundreds of videos so if you've been feeling a bit mm, at home and you want to learn something else or you just want to dip your toes into something else it's a really good platform uh, for anyone who is just beginning or who want to further develop their skills and see what else is out there so for this month I have chosen interior design I've always been very into interior design but by no means that I know anything about it so I thought it'd just be very interesting to know how to kind of balance out a room to find out what your style is and what's comfortable for you and kind of what suits your home as well with an annual subscription it's it's less than $10 a month and I'm also giving away free premium subscription um, you get to trial it for three months and you get all the videos and all the classes and the first thousand people to click on the link in the box below will get that so thank you so much Skillshare um, and if you're interested in anything from illustrating to bookkeeping to writing novels to personal branding that is where you should be looking so I was very excited for this purchase, but uh, it went awry. So I've got a pair of pants and these, this knit material and just be careful when you wash them because they shrink like crazy. Anyway, I saw it in the dress form. It's just got this lovely white stitching. It's very like minimalist. I feel like I'm living in the year 2072 and everyone kind of just has like cos looking outfits. I have more of a shorter neck and Zara definitely caters to the longer limbed and longer necked people. Anytime I get any form of turtleneck or a higher neck from Zara, I am choking. The neck is always like really tight but also really high and I can't even do the fold down thing because then it just looks a little bit stupid. Also, there's like no body to this dress. Um, on the model, it gave me more like 70s twiggy vibes where it was like a shift dress, but because it's a knit material, it kind of just balloons out a little. I was considering maybe just washing it and shrinking it a little, but then the neck would get tighter and then it would choke me even more. So uh, unfortunately, this is a no-go, but I thought it would have been very cute for autumn, but no. Continuing on with the shirt dresses, I picked up this lovely blue shirt looking one. On first appearances, it does look a bit like a schoolgirl outfit, and it did look like that on the model on the website, but when I went in store and saw it, the material so soft, the cutting perfect, the fit perfect, just so comfortable. I feel like with these shirt dresses, they're just so easy to wear. Um, I'm looking for more like a casual throw it on dress that you can just go outside in, but also still look a little bit put together. Also very easy to dress up for autumn. I feel like you could just put a little pea coat on or even a shorter coat um, and just wear some booties with it. And I love it. If I look like a schoolgirl, so be it. Last but not least, I think I got my dream set. I have been umming and eyeing about this set for so long. They just get you with these matching sets because the blazer and the top part is always like a hundred bucks and the bottom is also like sixty seventy dollars and you're like i can't have it as separate pieces because it just doesn't fit the same so am i right look at this pattern i love this kind of 
checkered tartan pattern. It's a nice cream with like a blue, gray, and a brown in it, but all very nice, subtle colors, and I find it very wearable. You can match it with like white, cream, black, gray, even jeans on the bottom. Um, and I like the more of a cropped fit as well, just because the blazer does have shoulder pads, and I feel like sometimes with a full length blazer, it does drown me out a little, just because I'm so small. Um, but, but, but it gets better. She comes with a matching skirt. <laughs> and this skirt is like a nice little pleated skirt as well. So it would look lovely with a nice little turtleneck for autumn. You could wear it with a different coat or just with a jumper on top as well. So I know we always say this with two-piece sets that we're going to wear them separately, but I truly, truly, truly believe this bottom is very wearable separately and I can already picture so many outfits with it. And this blazer goes with so many colors of bottoms and styles and the cut is just really nice so you can even wear some high-waisted pants with it and still look so fab. I, if you can't tell, I'm in love with it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching my new Zara pieces and how I styled them. Let me know which piece was your favorite and what you love to have in your wardrobe for the transitional months. Do you like to have a nice spring summer dress and turn it into more of like a edgy, uh, more layered look, whether it's putting turtlenecks or long sleeve tops underneath or laying with coats um, and boots as well? Or are you more of like a knit jumper and a preppy skirt kind of person? Let me know and hopefully I'll see you next time don't forget you can follow me on instagram for more daily updates sometimes i lack in the youtube department a little bit and i apologize it is at jenny j Zhao, and you can find me on weibo at long Tang Li the jenny and you can hear me and my friend baby rant about our work woes our tv show recommendations and what's been happening in shanghai and melbourne on our podcast at the shameless sisters on apple Podcasts.